Top of the morning to you laddies! My name is Jack Septiguy and welcome back to Amnesia Machine for Pigs and we're outside! We're running around outside. No Piggly Wigglies can get us out here, right? <laughs> right? I fucking doubt it. There's more trucks out here. Water in his shoes. Always the water and the sparks of the embers of the wheels. It's too bony! It's too damn bony! Haha, <laughs> that's what she said. Right? Am I right, guys? No? Okay. Don't leave me hanging, fuckers. Ah, oh, man, I was gonna say something and now I forget it. Oh, yeah, somebody was uh, saying that the screen tearing is a bit bad, and I agree. The screen tearing is really bad in this game, and I don't know why. I tried to put on V-Sync. Vertical synchronization for those who don't know what it is. It stops all the screen tearing and it, it didn't work and I tried to force it through third-party software programs and it didn't work either so I'm kind of stuck with it which sucks but I'm sorry after a while you kind of get used to it and I know that kind of sucks to say but I can't really do much else. A hellish portal, I didn't read this one. It appears I have no choice, thus I descend and may God have mercy upon my soul. <laughs> Sounds like that episode of The Simpsons. May God have mercy on us all. <laughs> if this is my bedlam, and I am to be cast as Matthews, then I will wear that mantle for the sake of my boys, and face whatever horrors lie beneath the altar. Yeah, we already went through the altar, we're outside now. The Mandis Processing Company. My soul shudders at what I have seen, but at least I have reached the main part of the factory. Now onwards, downwards, to find those flood waters and drain them away. Like Moses, I will cleave the waters and lift my little darlings clear of this vile cradle. There's a lot of uh, religious kind of influence going on in the writing. Not sure how well that's going to go down with people. Nice freaking windows, dude. Strangers not allowed in this works. Inquiries to be made at the lodge. Well, I don't know if I'm a stranger or not, but I am a coming in. Close all the windows. It's kind of cold in here. How do I close them? There we go. Controls are a little arseways. There we go. Windows are closed. We're warm inside here now. I'm kind of bitter right there. Oh, that window's still open. Never mind. These men, Professor, these so-called men of vision, they would shackle the masses to a wheel and turn it till their backs break. All for that opiate, the lure of profit. These fools who lackey them, these priests, these officials, this government, they make pigs of us all. But what solution, my dear man? How to break a cycle? You cannot simply remove the promise of a better world for these unfortunates. In the workhouses, in the orphanages, the belief in heaven is surely the only sucker one can find. We do not need to wait. We can bring forth paradise now. We can speed the passion. With only a small sacrifice, we can hold the apocalypse. With just a small sacrifice, we can free our shackles and deliver them to paradise now. Okay. What makes him scarier is that he's so nonchalant about it. Like, he's just so... You know what? Let's kill all these people. Let's make giant mechanical pig men. He doesn't, he doesn't give a fuck. Honey Badger don't give a fuck. Ah, oh, that's one of those heat things. Heat you up as you're entering the place. I have a feeling everything's just gonna start moving all of a sudden. It scared the shit out of me. What the hell is this? Okay, the game is kind of stuttering a bit. Seems like it's stuttering while loading in things. Bioshock Infinite has that issue as well. I knew it! What did I tell you? Fucking told you those things would start moving and scare me. Pigman! Pigman! Pigman down there! I see a Pigman! He's running away! See you later, Pigman! Okay, as long as he's not coming towards me. I forgot I had a lantern and I didn't even have it up. Pigman went scuttling that way. He really did scuttle. He was like Zoidberg from Futurama. Whoop, 
I've also heard a lot of people complain about the lantern, how you don't need to refill it anymore. And uh, well, I guess to be realistic, you wouldn't need to refill a lantern that much anyway. Lanterns like burn for days if they're full. Must be an electromagnetic pig around here. Seems to be turning off all the damn lights. Are you down there, piggy? I don't really want to go after you. I'm gonna go up here first and see what's what. What, what, in the butt. I thought this is the same place I just came from. Yeah, yeah, ring, ring. Ahoy! Me, Mantis. I am compromised. Our contacts must be brief and occasional. Beware the wretches who populate this compound. The way you seek is under the pistons. When you meet the saboteur, you will understand everything. You're the saboteur, I think. Also, does this guy not realize everything's called the Mantis Cor Corporation? And he doesn't seem bothered by that. He's not seeing. He's like acting surprised about all these big things that are happening. Like, does he not think, hey, my name is Mandis. Maybe it's my machine. <coughs> Kids! They're not being very subtle about this that the kids are like dead or like not real. Each compartment is ergonomically designed with a feed through at one end so the product naturally settles into a position ready for the stunning arms to connect to the skull. We use the natural static charge built up by the friction of the carts against the belt to build an electrical charge, which is contained within glass vacuum canisters at the sides of the stunning arm mechanisms and delivered along the stun arms via copper cabling. We have observed that the artificial lighting contained within these canisters seems to calm the product further. They keep calling it the product, as to kind of avoid spoiling it. I still think the product is people. Post-stunning, the line tilts sharply to the vertical, the physics of which tips the stunned product upwards to fall directly onto the hook of the bleeding line. This hook passes normally through the haunch or thigh of the product. And from this point, we dispense with the belt and instead instigate a channeled floor, which creates a funnel allowing blood and byproduct excretions to collect and run to the fluid collection tanks. Okay. See, they keep making it seem like they're talking about pigs, because that is what you do to pigs. You stick the hook in their leg. I don't know why, but you do. I still think it's people. Hello, Mr. Mask. Is that mask in like every single environment that I've passed? Seems like it is. This is going to be locked. Ha ha! How, how predictable. Work manager. Works manager. Is that me? Oh yeah! Let's just head down into the frickin' darkness where all the pig squeals and rummaging is coming from. God damn it. Mandis, you're a dumbass. Well, technically I'm the one controlling you, so I'm a dumbass. Crawl space! No. Uh oh. Piston control room. How the hell are you touching that? It must be like melting your skin. Ok, 
And we have to fill this full of coal. Maybe not. Just close it. Turn it on. I don't like when the music does that to me. Okay, that must be right because I don't I can't turn it off anymore, even though there's more coal here. I probably should have thrown it in. Why is the music doing that? Stop! What's going on? Shut up, pigs! Stop. Are your furnaces fueled? Well, there's some coal in them. I don't know if I needed more. Oh. Maybe these ones. Ah. It was there to show me that I needed two. That's a good little tutorial there, game. The other one was open to show me that I needed two. To get the furnaces to burn. So trying to figure out the purpose of these pigs, like of what they're used for. Oh, hello. October 18th. A series of collecting vents have been installed along the ceiling at this stage in the line. In the process of stunning and bleeding, the product often expels stinking vapors from its digestive system, which can be collected, condensed, and used in the methane boiler to drive the engine as a whole. See? And pigs let out a lot of methane, but technically so can humans. In this way, the more product is processed, the more power becomes available to the machine. That's actually really fucking smart! And productivity is actually increased. A simple stroke of genius, but one that encapsulates the benefits of self-regulatory automation. That is really smart! You kill- let's just say you're killing cows. Cows produce a lot of methane, so when you kill the cows, the methane comes out and actually powers the machine that's killing them. So the machine can just keep going on its own. That is really freaking smart. Hey! Re real life people, get on that! Dude, uh, they could have that implemented already and I just don't know. Okay, let's try. Um, you're not working. Why? Are the numbers on these things important? There's a lot of coal in that. Oh, there's more furnaces. That would be why... Something's gonna attack me in here, I feel like. I don't know why it would, because I have nowhere to hide. Spadoosh! Where's another coal? I need another coal, please. Just like one more. Maybe there's one over here. There we go. Come on, Mr. Coal. Let's turn you into a diamond. That seemed to just keep going. And close. Stick, stick it. Thought I saw something. I'm going crazy. Fire and steel. The fires are stoked. Assuming the same architect is responsible here as with the chemical plant, I surmise that a centralized control system regulates and operates the pistons. It should be a simple matter of finding it and hoping the saboteur relented after simply extinguishing the fires. Now back to our switches. Hello, Mask! Why are you back? Stop following me! Creep. Oh. No! 
Now what? That's a cool effect, but I don't know what it's doing. Oh! Hello, Piggly Wiggly! Where did you go, little buddy? I don't like when the light flickers, that usually means they're around. Oh shit. This game can be really loud. Is that gonna close behind me too? Yeah. Oh man. I'm so going to get chased by a piggly wiggly in here. Can I get on this? Oh man, come on. I want to play. One there? Yeah! Oh! Uh oh! Uh oh! Ah, oh, he sees me! Shit, 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 shit! Go! I don't know where I can go! Where can I go? Oh! Ah! Oh! They're strong! They're fast! Gives him way too much credit! Where am I going? Go this way! Just keep fucking running, Jack, you dumbass! I don't think it's following me anymore. Why are you flickering? What are you symbolizing? Right there, right there, right there! Okay. <laughs> See you later. You fuck. I'm not sure where I'm supposed to be going. Probably down here. Yeah, that's good. That's that's great. Stay up there. Those dudes are scary. The descent continues. Dark descent. Yeah, I made that joke already. Okay. What did that dark voice instruct me to do? Under the pistons, into the tunnels, and onto the bilge pumps. And if the doors should be locked, I will have to find another means of descent. I cannot trust him, but my path is set. I shall ignore those noises, that snuffling, those shuffling steps below me. I will brave whatever lurks beneath, and I will save them. I'm not sure if I believe this guy's motivation. Save his kids? Really? Hey music, you're very loud, I get it. Simmer down now. April 30th. The crate arrived this morning, and I had it delivered directly to the workshop. The body is remarkably preserved, although there is a subtle yet nauseating stench of damp and rot. It is humanoid in shape, and has suffered severe skeletal deformity. Remnants of leather straps encase the torso, which is deformed with evidence of substantial muscle mass and displacement. It is difficult to ascertain whether this unfortunate is the recipient of some barbarous surgery 
or was born deformed in an attempt to force his gnarled body into something some semblance of humanity was made. What he is I cannot tell, but I smell the orb upon him. Orb? I suspect my great uncle's presence in his curious condition. So it can be done. We can reshape the body into a tool, accelerate the processes of Mr. Darwin's evolution, but here my great uncle and I part company. He chose men as the subjects of his experiments, but men are difficult to control and rotten with sentimentality. No, we require a new creature for our chattels. Loyal, clever, strong, easily sated. Right. So, it's humanoid, but it's not a human. So what is it? Compound X storage. No naked flames. Ooh, no sexy naked flames in here. I wanted to go this way anyway. It looks spooky. This place is absolutely gigantic. I built all this? I did good work. Why does the lights go out every time those guys get near me? Is there a reason for that or is it just for gameplay? Chicka chicka chicka. Doesn't want to open for me. Yeah. What can I put in there? Can I put myself in there? Ha-ha! Cool! In the nest of eggs, it is cradled in, it, in his sweating hands, it sucks the fever loose from his body. He dreams of birds far above in the jungle canopy, a jaguar coughing at the dawn. Seems like lightning is hitting the roof, kind of like a Frankenstein thing. Which, I guess, if they're like splicing pigs and men together, if that is what they're doing, then... Get me! Oh man, that really sounds like it's behind me. I love you, headphones. I love you so much. And sound card. I love you guys. You really create a powerful experience. Oh, great. My buddy is back. Quickly, Mantis. Find the entrance nearby. The children weep in the darkness, and the flood waters continue to rise. I'm not the only one that thinks that that guy isn't real, right? Like, it's just me calling back my memories or something. Like, it's all in my head, and that phone doesn't actually ring, I just think it does. Okay. Looks like a freaking gynecologist's office. Ah, oh, that's cool! That's awesome! It's like a spider light. The lighting in this game is really nice. This engine is really nice, actually, considering how dated it is. July 15th, 1899. In order to facilitate assimilation of tissue groups, a compound is required, or the cells will not bond. Disposal of non-bonded subjects must be immediate and using incineration, or we risk continuous animation without form. This is unpleasant. A simple compound of one part Brenneberg infusion vitae to one part orgone monad desperol fluid is sufficient. This can be administered intravenously to subjects following reassembly to maintain bonding. The compound is unstable and highly light reactive. Once in the body, the Schumann lamp can be used to activate the compound, but outside the body is highly corrosive. It can even destroy small quantities of metal. These guys are, like, powered by some voodoo. Is that the Schumann lamp? I said it can be activated by that. That's really freaking cool. I want one of them in my room. Just... Well, that does it for this part. We're heading down into the deep, dark... Darkness of depths and dark. Darkness. 
But thank you guys so much for watching this episode part video. Click the annotations at the end of the video for more stuff that Jack Septic Guy has done and punch that like button in its giant spider lamp face. But thank you guys, and I will see all you dudes in the next video! Oh, there's lots of decisions. Keep the path, stay the path. Keep going where you're going. Around, goes back around, this crash is being there and it's like... Ah! Ah! There's a guy there, there's a guy there, there's a guy there! Ah! I don't know where to go! I don't know where to go! Ah! Go somewhere! Ooh! I can see him! Ah!